futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and may not be suitable for all investors. Good morning. It's Friday, December 29th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are weaker after yesterday's year-end profit taking. You have February gold down seven dollars at 20.76. March silver down 38 cents, 23.98. March copper down one at 3.90. And January platinum, which actually should be April platinum, down four dollars at 10.19. So make sure you're trading April on the platinum, and you should be out of all your January contracts here today, whether regardless of its grains or other markets. Now looking at some things here, precious metals, really they've been unable to hold on to their gains over the last two sessions. The dollar index has bounced, but nothing real significant. That lower 100 level has been easily defended as some people believe that the Fed will be higher for longer. Long-term treasury yields, they also rose with the 10-year treasury yield right now at 3.88%, up about three basis points. Other markets to watch, platinum, five and a half month high that's been very resilient if you do track our seasonals and i did go over some of the risks with seasonals seasonal tendencies don't always happen here and don't let your guard down because the seasonals in place but platinum prices reached a five and a half month high and if you look at some of that seasonal tracking that we send out platinum has historically over the last 15 years done very well into the end of November, December, and into January. Now, palladium, on the other hand, reaching a two-week low and continuing to sell off here today, down about 1.5%, sitting at about $1,124, down 17 So palladium, we really see value below that 1,000 mark. Uh, same thing with the platinum market, below 900 On the silver market, I really believe it's like a 20 to $23 pocket is where that support level. Gold is gonna be much more elevated. I think it's the 2040 down to about the 1950. Those are kind of your pocket value zones where if you haven't been involved with it, you may wanna consider something from your portfolio, but remember to look at the risks involved in your own particular risk parameters. Now copper, it's unable to extend its rally, but it's done quite well. That's another one where your value zone goes into that 375 down to 350 range. So down about one and a half here today. Many of these products are still significantly higher than what we feel is value. Now if you look at the technicals here, the technicals on the silver market, not very constructive at the moment. We were unable to break out. There's that critical level. You should just take out a pencil, print out a chart and draw a line across it. It's 2493. I've wrote about that number for about three weeks on the Kitco website. However, their website is down here, so I've outlined it on podcasts and on other financial news outlets. That is the level that I believe if we breach that level on a closing basis, we will attack the $26 level. That's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. Now on the downside, breaking below, it, it hovered at the 200 day, breaking below the 50, that's not constructive at all. That's a, a poor setup and there's that one long wick on the silver market that we might go down and fill, so at the $23 level here. Now on the gold market, I expend it to kind of more take a cycling approach with a series of you know, those lower highs and those higher highs. So I think that we might come down, but realistically, the 58 cross over the 200 day moving average, your 50 day moving average is $23.25. That's kind of your critical level here where your pocket support comes in. Looking at the crude oil market, big hit job on it yesterday here. Kind of surprised with a lot of the military action going in the Middle East, who's involved with this Red Sea conflict and how Iran is still able to operate sanction free within this oil deal when they're the ones back in the militants, but that's getting political. Um, don't want to go that route. Where I do see value on crude oil, December of 2024 crude oil below $70. I think that's a really good um, uh, area for people to really look at. The green markets are mixed. The dollar's a bit lower. 10-year treasury yields are higher. All your equity markets kind of flat here on this session. Expect some kind of gyration there as well. Today's going to be another one of those days like yesterday where not a lot going on and then all of a sudden, all at once, you get some volatility, you get some risk. Little suspect on the precious metals move yesterday. Most of that sell-off occurred after when the pit session, when the volume session would close and really was working at you know, 2.45, 3 in the afternoon. I was at the desk at 3 3.30 and silver was making a new low. So who it is, whatever. But uh, 
Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great uh, new year. Happy new year here. I'm getting all new equipment for down here. So I'm kind of tearing everything down. I'm going to be watching this stuff, but kind of a little bit more loosely here today. So you got any questions, give me a call. 312-858-7303. Remember, futures option trading involves risk of loss being not suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.